gotten a couple of questions on the actual badge cards that I have behind my actual student ID. Um, I just wanted to show y'all real quick what I use as a quick reference guide when I'm on clinicals and when I'm at work. So hopefully this information will be helpful for you guys and it could be something that you could possibly do or maybe you just didn't think to do it. So hopefully this video will be just as helpful as any other video I have posted on my channel. So the first card I want to show you is this ideal body weight. So this is pretty helpful for me when I first was learning it because um, I didn't really understand it, but it does have the formula at the bottom and it has the formula for both female and male. And then as you can see, it has all the different measurements on the side where you can kind of gauge between which amount of tidal volume you're going to deliver to the patient. So this becomes very helpful and lessens the load but since I've been using this formula so much I can do it real fast but sometimes I still like to have references with me just in case I'm in a situation where my mind just goes blank and this I got off of Amazon so I will put the link below but if you guys are interested in purchasing it it only cost about maybe two or three dollars so um it was definitely worth the buy um, the other cards I have behind here are cards that I made myself and I just got them laminated at Office Max. Um, I just basically put like the initial setup for a BiPAP and just put down some of the notes that I felt like were important for me to put on this so I can look at when I have to set up a patient on the BiPAP. And on the other side, um, I put down just ranges of what was normal for setup on the vent or any type of non-invasive or invasive mechanical ventilation that's being delivered to the patient just as a quick reference to anything that I may need to look at the um second card is the initial setup I still have on here for vent settings um I still have everything on here tidal volume without um uh, what is that um acute respiratory disease i think that's what that is acute respiratory disease because i some it had like an acronym in the book so i was trying to write it down so i could remember um this one right here is the tidal volume range that's looked at with um acute lung injury and ARDS, and then it just has all the normal ranges that you have to make sure the vent stays in and that the patient isn't getting more than they need because if they are then that's when we have to go in and make adjustments um, on the other side this is just the vent alarms on how high you can go and how low you can go and these are pretty easy to remember but again I like to have these on here just as a quick reference guide when you're in a critical emergency situation it's still good to have stuff like this on you then that way you don't have to rummage through no notebook paper no nothing huge that's going to deter you from performing your job at a, in a timely fashion so i got vent alarms on here and then on the other one i got vent modes i have pcv cmv slash assist control and i just made sure i color coded each explanation of what this vent mode does um, what you have to look for and just making sure that it was enough information for me to be able to you know remember that setting and then on the other side I have just more vent settings um, I also have notes that I did take that was important and then same thing for the rest and there's quite a bit of vent modes and these are probably not even all of it but it's a lot of vent modes and then on the other side is just the last vent modes that we had on our um, study guide that we got the last semester so I thought that it was very important to make these up and it didn't take me long I did have to start over on a few just to make sure it was right but it's definitely helpful and I definitely keep this with me at my job and in clinicals and um if you guys are thinking about doing this this is a good idea so if you have trouble with vent settings or anything that you feel like you need to know on clinical settings 
do so just take the time to take an hour out and just look through everything that you might need to have with you make notes and then color code them like this or just do what you feel and it only costs about two or three dollars to get it laminated on one sheet and then you cut them out get them punched and put them on the back of your id so if you guys thought this video was helpful like comment and subscribe if you haven't already and like i said i have a q a coming up later on this week so um thank you for sticking by me and adding to my channel and i will see you guys in the next video bye